Hello friends, I have this charger plate from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint this just one coat with the Espresso by Art Minds. And once done, as you can see on the video, I am lightly brushing it, uh, painting it with the black chalk paint, but there is no need to do this because I changed my mind. Um, I changed the color after this. Then after... Um, lightly brushing it with a black chalk paint you can see i have four pieces of ruler sticks they are 12 inch ruler sticks that i bought from home depot i just have it cut uh, to fit into the charger plate and i'm mixing now the waverly crimson and a little of the black chalk paint so if you like it lighter in color just don't put uh, just put a little of black chalk paint so once it's uh, done, you can see on the video that I have these four corners decor. I don't know what I uh, you call it, but it is from Timu. I also painted it with the same paint. And now I am lightly uh, rubbing this uh, charger plate with the tea light. And after that, I will lightly brush this using a chip brush with the Waverly Ivory. So this is what I meant. I changed my mind on this uh, black chalk paint that I lightly brush it with it. I changed my mind because I just want a, um, this kind of paint, the Waverly Ivory. So I crumpled actually a packaging tape here and I just dab it onto the charger plate to see um, so I can come up with a chippy look. So now I am using a small chip brush i am going to just lightly brush this onto uh, this dark antique wax by bear that i bought from home depot i just lightly brush it onto the charger plate so it will look like it's really distressed and old so now it's uh, i will start to glue these four ruler sticks and it really fits well i I just love it. Four pieces of it fits into that inside of the charger plate. I like uh, how this turned out, everybody. I hope you're going to make this craft. It's very, very meaningful for me. I'm going to draw uh, a shape of a heart there and it's all up to you this is optional you can make your own shape of your heart uh, i just love this shape and i will start to cut it and i see to it that uh i'll draw these hearts that two pieces of them will fit into the charger plate so you can see that i also trace it onto the cardboard and now I trace it also, the cardboards, onto the scrapbook paper. And it's optional, whatever scrapbook paper do you have there, whatever design. I crumpled it and then I will lightly brush it on the side with the dark antique wax again. If you don't like this dress look, just skip this process. Don't use this wax. So it really looks so distressed and old. And I am into the distress look and a vintage and that's why I'm using this wax all the time. So it turned out so pretty. I just love how it came out. So now that it's done, I will um, brush the sides and sew with the edges of this heart. So just in case I am going to, not just in case, but if I'm going to uh, glue the scrapbook paper, nothing will show there. The cardboard will, uh, cardboard will not show. So I just lightly wiped it with a tissue paper. And once it's dry, I will apply Mod Podge. Then I will glue the scrapbook paper. This scrapbook paper, by the way, I bought this from... Hobby Lobby. It has a musical note there as a design. A 
I will put a line here and on uh, on the middle and in the other um, heart as well and I'm going to cut it so this is what I meant I have a different concept on this uh, craft and I have these um, two hinges that I bought from Timu I am going to uh, paint this with a burnt umber by apple barrel and highlight it with a pueblo by folk art and I will dry it using my heat tool and the reason why I'm doing that because I would want to have a rustic look on these hinges. Now that it's done, I will glue this right in the middle there. And on the other heart as well. I have these bamboo skewers. I am going to just uh, cut this to fit into the back of this uh, heart. I will glue it there just like that because I want it uh, a little bit raised so there will be a um, design a beauty not just flat so the concept here actually is how to mend a broken heart so that is what I'm thinking of doing this but uh, the message that I spelled out here is just the word love so of course um, as a story you know there's a part of my life that I was heartbroken but I was able to mend it because I love myself so that's the message of this um, it's a broken heart but the message there is love so I hope you like this craft everybody it's really all up to you what message you're gonna put there how to mend a broken heart or heal a broken heart or mending a broken heart it's it really depends on you i just put the word love and the bow is optional whatever bow you're gonna put there i just feel like putting a very simple plaid uh, uh, bow and uh, this cheesecloth very simple i will just put it there to accentuate the bow that i made and I have these flowers from Timu. I will just put it right in the middle. Then I remember I'm going to put some greenery. So I put the greeneries there. So if you like to see more of my craft ideas, this is just a very simple craft, but I like the concept of this. Uh, you can go to my main page. Please click like and please give me a follow because I will be coming up with a lot more of craft ideas to share with you and I'm glad to share it with you all. So this is what I meant. I have the stamp uh, with the heart design and then I spell out the word love. Very simple but so very meaningful. So like I said, even before I like uh, distress look, I will just lightly distress the sides and so with the part with the message and I'm going to glue there. I am showing you how I'm going to put the hanger, the handle that, you know, the jute twine that will serve as the hanger of this craft. Then to make it firmly glued onto the charger plate, I am using um, cloth to cover it. And that's my finished craft. So I hope you like this, everybody. It's just very, very meaningful. I was thinking of putting how to mend the broken heart, but then I said, well, love will is really a very good message here as well. So thank you all so much, everybody. That's the finished craft. It's so simple, but it's cute. I love it so much. I love how it turned out. I hope you love watching this video and you're gonna make your own as well it's a pretty gift to somebody so thank you and this is the finished craft i just put a little of baby's breath there in the bowl thank you and till next time